Hi guys, um, I'm Nick. I'm a senior data scientist here at WorkSpot. Uh, my background's in uh, statistics and machine learning, and um, I spend a lot of my day working on recommendation engines to improve the user experience and improve our marketplace efficiency. So maybe it would be interesting for everyone because uh, uh, you have been working as a data scientist in this company and you have a really good background. Uh, it's interesting for a lot of people to understand how you become a data scientist. Um, a lot of people have their, their, their own paths. Uh, a lot of articles exist on the internet where they suggest different kind of techniques to become data scientists. But maybe it's interesting for a lot of viewers to see where you come from, yeah. so that if if they are that early in their career, they can they might follow the same path and end up like you. So, yeah. uh, please, uh, if you can share uh, what what is your educational background, how you ended up here being a data scientist. Yeah, yeah. I guess um, yeah. Short story: I did an undergraduate degree in commerce, so yeah. that was economics and statistics. Yeah. And originally, I wanted to go into economics, um, but that. I, f I thought that the field at the time lacked a bit of rigor in, um, you know, they were trying to model the economy, uh, which is a complex system using very simple models. Yeah. And so I thought that maybe if I went into statistics and yeah. then jumped back into economics, I would be able to add a lot of value. Yeah. Um, short story, I went and did a postgraduate degree in statistics and then I fell in love with machine learning yeah. um, and statistics in general. The idea that you can try and quantify uncertainty, I think, is, uh, is very interesting. Um, but at the time, my university didn't uh, teach many courses in machine learning, so I, I basically consumed whatever I could find online, which is yeah. like Andrew Ring's um, Stanford machine learning course okay. and a couple other um, online resources there, specifically on Coursera. Mm -hmm. um, but it was kind of a slow process. I came from kind of an ac academic background, not being strong in computer science, not understanding software engineering that well. And um, ever since then, I've kind of been trying to bridge that gap yeah. Uh, understand more about software engineering, creating data products, and, and that, sort of, that sort of stuff. And this education you're talking about, which year was it? Yeah, so it was, I started my undergraduate degree in 2013. Okay. Um, and so around uh, 2017 I graduated. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So four years uh, it took all the studies uh, and you after that you pursued a career in the field of data science. Yeah, pretty much. I, I jumped straight from finishing a postgraduate degree in statistics yeah. um, into a startup yeah. um, uh, where uh, what I brought to the team, it was uh, me and two other guys in a garage yeah. basically trying to build data science and machine learning project, yeah. uh, products. And what I brought was the, the technical understanding um, and what I learned there was a lot about um, how you can validate machine learning projects and um, understand a little bit more about software engineering. Yeah. Uh, these are the sorts of things that I felt I needed to learn, so yeah. I, I found a place where I could uh, yeah, grow and do that. That's, uh, that's very interesting. And you're from South Africa? Yeah, Cape Town region. Uh, you did your studies there also? Yeah. And uh, how did you decide to come to Netherlands and pursue data science? I yeah. think uh, that's also something interesting because uh, a lot of, uh, I know a lot of people they uh, they want to become data scientists, but they don't find uh, ample opportunities around them where they belong. Yeah. And uh, they have a difficult time, uh, you know, knocking on doors and saying, may I come in? Like uh, that kind of opportunity, like uh, applying for jobs overseas and stuff like that. So maybe your journey from South Africa to Netherlands, being a senior data scientist is also very interesting. Yeah. If you can share that. Sure. So I have a bit of a strange journey. Yeah. So the startup I was in, I received seed funding from a, a, an accelerator in Amsterdam here. Okay. And so I relocated with the startup. Yeah. Um, and in that time, I kind of, uh, I guess the title you could call me as machine learning engineer. Yeah. I was very much focused in uh, building and understanding the machine learning models, but then taking them to production. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, long story short, when I decided to leave the startup, I had a lot of skills in both um, software engineering and machine learning, data science, that sort of stuff. Um, which made me very marketable here. Yeah. And um, yeah, it, it wasn't hard to find opportunities um, in the Netherlands yeah. um, for people with, with these sorts of skills. Yeah. Also, I think another thing, uh, I, I don't have uh, experience in machine learning, but uh, in general these days, a lot of companies allow visa sponsorship. So if you are interested in a position which is not in your own country, but it's in a different country, I think it's completely possible. You just have to, you know, uh, make the right resume, uh, provide the right uh, qualification, the information about the projects you have done, 
and but it's totally possible these days that people uh, go to different countries for different jobs like there are uh, positions available in stack overflow linkedin and so I, especially in the it sector i think it's uh, like I think it's very easily possible compared to other sectors. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was recently involved in hiring a second di- uh, data scientist here, and uh, we strongly considered candidates from outside the Netherlands, and and that as long as they had uh, shown that they had the ability to uh, complete machine learning projects, and yeah. that uh, they weren't, uh, they had uh, more of an emphasis on wanting to get something in production, um, less emphasis on the. The technical stuff. Yeah. I think as a data scientist, it's very easy to spend a lot of time just tinkering with things. Modeling. Yeah, you mean? modeling okay. and, and trying to eke out you yeah. know, every little bit of performance and really understand things. Um, but uh, at a company like Workspot, uh, we're very product focused. Yeah. And so the idea is, uh, how can you uh, build something as lean and, and as quickly as possible, get it out into production. Uh, get feedback from users and then iterate from there as opposed to spending all this time um, and maybe realizing that uh, the application is no longer needed yeah. or it's, it's not good enough. 